Like Buffy, effortlessly showed this strong woman character who could take on anything. So my question is really, what challenges, if any, did you have switching for a character like Bridget, where she doesn't know what's going on and she's not sure where her solid ground is? I think that's the fun of it for me. I mean, Buffy was always a stretch in the sense that um, I don't usually save the world on a daily basis or even a weekly basis. And um, I think I understand the vulnerability of Bridget and being afraid of the unknown and, and wanting to do things better. So I think it's been a fun challenge. Um, and, and, and also when in the beginning in that scene to remember that um, I can't kick him straight in the face and she doesn't know what she's doing. Sometimes I do have to get reminded of that. Yeah, I did, I tried to. <laughs> is for Christopher. I loved you on Life Unexpected. Um, I wanted to know how your character on this show was different from me. Um, completely different. Baze was this very sort of, you know, immature man-child. Like, like I said, he had a Peter Pan syndrome and he didn't want to grow up and he didn't really know what he was going to do with his life. And all of a sudden, Lux comes into it and he is forced to grow up and mature. Um, <clears throat> when I read Ringer, the thing that I was attracted to about Henry is he's this really sophisticated, um, you saw a little glimpse of it like in the museum, like he was like in this debonair tuxedo and the hair, I mean like all of it. So it's just, it's a, he's a completely different character, he's mature. And what I love about the idea of Ringer with all the duplicity is that I don't even know where Henry's headed. However, I have confidence in, in the creators and the writing team to know that there's going to be this really enjoyable ride. So while Life Unexpected was this very sort of, you know, sweet, uh, kind of homegrown, you know, it was a big hearted TV show, Ringer feels like this, I mean, it feels, and, and, and with all due respect to Life Unexpected, because Life Unexpected, you know, has my heart, but Ringer feels like this amazing machine that's in motion. Um, the script, when I read it, was like Twin Peaks and sexy and fun and Sarah's you know, <laughs> television. It just is a, a really cool thing. So there was a lot of things that kind of brought me to Henry. But he is a writer, and he is a little uh, rumpled. <laughs> Hi, this is, question is for Sarah. First of all, I want to say I love you. You're amazing. Thank you. Um, but um, in this role that you've got, um, siblings, like I find my siblings all the time. So did you, do you have siblings of your own or family members where you can get that? Reality of That's interesting, actually, because I don't have any siblings. And um, as an only child growing up, you do look at things differently. And, and um, so I've had to rely on both people that have siblings and people that have twins, too. Because from what I understand, there's a very different bond between siblings and between twins, especially identical twins. Um, because they lose a lot of their own identity within each other. And a lot of twins have told me that they don't feel when their twins aren't around, they don't feel completely whole. And so to have these sisters that were that close who have not spoken in all those years, and it's, it's certainly been an adventure for me in, in understanding that relationship. You should stand up and come back. It's like a warrior of change, like a warrior of change. Okay, hey guys, look at this. Make me sound like crazy, Chris. <laughs> Hi, this question is for Nestor. 